What's the best type of photography? Beer photography. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. We are in the Flurn studio today and we're going to be lighting some beer. There are quite a bit we need to talk about um, going over. Basically, we designed like a really quick campaign that we're going to shoot. It's just one like ad. This is the first part Then we're going to be going into Photoshop, refining the images a bit better, and then we're going to be going and actually making the ad. So today we're shooting the beer. We're also going to be shooting some water liquid swirling around, which is going to be very, very cool. Um, so we have our beer here. Um, if you wanted to zoom in, you can see kind of all this uh, setup that we have. The beer is basically just on like a little clamp that's on a boom. And um, it, the reason it's here, we don't want a whole lot obstructing the beer. Um, lighting glass has actually proved to be quite a bit of a challenge. Uh, the reason is, is because the, the glass, it reflects everything. And um, when you light this sort of thing, it's usually best to backlight uh, things like glass. And it's, uh, it's a green and the light label is semi-transparent. So, um, we're going to basically take you through all the lighting that we used to get this shot and then uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot it. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to go over to my camera and um, we're shooting in manual mode for the actual shot. But right now I'm just going to shoot in aperture mode and um, I'm going to take a picture so you guys can see about what the actual beer looks like uh, without any lights on it. It's plain, it really doesn't look good. Um, so then we're going to go back and kind of turn these lights on and uh, see what the, these look like on. So the first lights we're going to talk about our strip lights and these are here in the back you'll see this will turn on in a second um, these strip lights are backlighting the beer um, the reason why we're using strip lights as well is because they're long and thin and they create really nice reflections on the lights um, we've chosen to do the strip lights at an angle so you will we'll get a little bit more light here and a little bit more fall off as you get farther down the light so this is one light here we're just gonna take a picture oh Let's go ahead and turn the other one on so you guys can see what these guys look like as well. Um, these are basically the same, the same light on both sides. So the strip lights are going to really help to backlight the beer and you can see it looks quite a bit better already. So we're going to take a picture and that's what our backlit beer looks like. Oh, and it switched to manual mode. Now we're shooting at f13, we're shooting at 1 1 25th of a second and ISO 800. Uh, the reason we're shooting at ISO 800, I've got the power turned way down on our lights because we're going to be dropping some water and I want to make sure to freeze that action. That's in a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a picture and see what our shot looks like. You can see it's pretty good. It, the beer is definitely backlit, but we're not getting into that really nice green that we want, um, which is the reason why we're shooting Heineken. It's like that really cool green that we want. Um, so to bring the green out, what we're going to do is turn on another light. This is back here. There we go. And this light has got a seven inch reflector on it and a 20 degree spot grid. Basically the light is only hitting directly at our bottle. So it's not shining anywhere else. It's just gonna be hitting in our bottle and reflecting light around there, which should light up the bottle quite a bit better. So we'll take a picture there. And you can see the inside of the bottle gets quite a bit brighter. The green is kind of bouncing around in there and that looks a little bit better. Now the last thing we need to do, because the label is out front and everything is being backlit, the label comes across dark and it kind of is like, it's a little bit too see-through. So that's why this light is up here, kind of blocking me. Um, this is, again, it's the same as this light basically. It's got a 20 degree spot grid on it and this light is shined directly at the label. So it's not hitting anything else, it's hitting just the label and it's gonna brighten that up a little bit and uh, give you what you guys are gonna see here. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this on. There we go. And you can see, we'll take a picture there. Perfect. And you can see now the label is nice and lit up as well. So we have the majority of the shots that we need. Um, basically, we just need this one shot. But I do want another shot as well. Um, Chris, would you mind coming on over? Um, I just need you to take a picture for now. Um, we do want one more shot as well because I, I don't want the bottom. The beer is going to be floating in the end ad. Um, so I don't really want this bottom here because it's kind of blocking some of this light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the beer bottle itself and then I'm going to move this. There we go. And we're going to take a picture now and that's going to help all the lights are going to light the beer up from the bottom as well as the top. So doing that, we can then composite those two shots together in Photoshop. Um, if you guys want to get really fancy, we got a spray bottle here. Uh, you can 
spray your beer down so it's like oh my god look how wet and cold it is <laughs> and uh, take a picture with all that water drops and things like that on there um, one thing you guys do want to do if you are shooting a liquid or a bottle like this and you want to make it look cold um, stick it in the freezer for a bit you know don't freeze your beer uh, but that's going to create that nice frost because under these hot lights the frost the beer will get warmer and the frost will definitely disappear so we're probably going to grab a fresh beer and basically do the same thing and it's going to be really nice and frosty on the outside um, so that's it with photographing the beer we're going to show you guys what we're going to do with the water um, flowing down over the beer all right so for the second part of the ad what we're going to be doing is that we're actually got this cool idea we want to do a double helix around the bottle um, so we have a regular like KitchenAid hand mixer here that's uh, just got a regular attachment that we glued to the top of a milk carton and then drilled some holes in the bottom of the milk carton. The idea is that we're going to take the tape off, which is going to let water drip down, turn this on, and it's going to spin in a spiral while we photograph it. Um, so this is, uh, it took a little while to figure this out, and that's, in case you guys are wondering, that's what that is there. Um, the reason why we're using all this light setup is because all this is going to show in the actual spiral effects. We're going to photograph some of these spirals without the bottle there and with a little bit simpler light setup, but we're going to photograph some with the bottle there because there's actually going to be a reflection of the bottle in the water drops themselves, and we want to be sure we capture that as well. Um, so I'm going to get behind the camera. Chris, are you ready to go? Beautiful. That looks awesome. So you guys can see, um, it only happened like in 10 seconds basically, but the water is coming down and it's splashing in a spiral. What we're going to do is we're going to cut that out on Photoshop, put the two around and make it look like a double helix is actually coming around the Heineken bottle. So it's a complex shoot. We're going to be putting everything together in Photoshop. Be sure to check out parts two and three, which are going to happen in the computer. Guys, I hope it's so much that you like this, that Sounded really good that I just said that. <laughs> I hope so much that you like this. Um, this is our lighting setup for the Heineken bottle. Thanks so much for watching Flurn. We'll learn you guys later. Peace. Don't touch it. I gotta, I gotta do the blooper and you always stop it before the blooper. I didn't stop it. I know, I, I know, but I had to tell you. You want that to be the blooper? Do, is there no blooper? Do you want do you want me to record the blooper or not? <laughs>